Well, once again we are going to start off with a welcome. Now, I have a lot of Hot Wheels cars and storing them can be quite hard. Thankfully though, I found a nice little carry case. Usually in four sections, but again, a genuine Hot Wheels storage. Let's see what's in here. A lump of cardboard. Okay, these are cars that are a couple of months old. I think it was when I was really starting to recollect my collection again. So let's have a look what's in here. Oh, also as well, uh, from my other video, I should have included the two box cars. In fact, I'm going to do that first. So again, remember that storage case. But remember, in my 03 uh, car boot sales, it, when it was a bit of a washout, I went out and brought two more Hot Wheels cars. Boxed. There they are. Very nice. Shelby Ford 07 Shelby GT400. And, of course, Z1 and Z only. Coupe version of the Mustang. Again, these are were supposed to be included in the other video, but I forgot about them. Oops, my bad. Okay, let's get back to the storage box. First up in here, unboxed. The very nice H2Go. Again, I... I can't remember where I brought these uh, again, it was at a car boot sale. This one's only got a bit of damage on the front there, obviously where it's been flipped over and probably slid along like that. Shame really is it's quite a nice car. Okay, next up. Ah. Now, I have no idea what the name on this is, because I don't, no, it just has 1978 Malaysia Hot Wheels on it. I don't know what year it's from either. Again, it's got something on the back there, Highway Patrol is that? Oh, Final Run 2003. So is it from 2003 or is it just sort of like a promotional car from 2003? Love the chrome wheels on this. Front end's nice. Oh, it's all nice. Doesn't have any top on it, that's the main thing. A very nice car anyway. Okay, now Hot Wheels have always been known to make strange things. They've made helicopters and various other things. How about a blimp? One of those big, huge air blimps. Now I think this is from a 5 pack, I can't remember though, but the main thing about these is it usually has two sides on it. I did have another one of these, I think that got broken, I think my mum or I stepped on it. It had a football logo on it, as you can see it's got AA on it, and flame, and if you turn the back end, up comes the Hard Wheels logo, I love this. Again, it's just one of these little weird oddities that I've sort of kept, you can't play with it because again, it's got no wheels, just got a base with the Hot Wheels logo on it. 1991, that was the year I was born. Ooh, just gave away my age there. Okay, next up. Now, I've already got one of these already, but not in this good a condition. It's a 98 Pro Stock Chevy S10 car for drag racing. How is it for drag racing? It has the bumper bars on the back for doing wheelies. Again, it's got Trentman's AC, Trentman's AC on it. Now, AC is, of course, air conditioning, which is a brilliant invention, and it keeps you lovely and cool in hot days. Sadly, though, on today, I need heating, as it's freezing cold here. The rain and cold weather really do make you wish you lived in another country. Okay, next one, actually, uh, one of my relatives had this car, and I wanted to grab it from him, but sadly he didn't. A couple of years later, I found it myself. It is a, and this is going to be quite hard to say, a 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Birmingham GMTM. What a mouthful. Not only were Cadillacs long and big, but so were the names. Again, love the military green and stripes. Is it from a military set? If you could tell me. Yeah, just love. I love Cadillacs. Great big old huge things. If I could, I would have to either have a 50s or 60s one or an 80s one when they were making square box jobs, which is a shame. Speaking of square box jobs, I have quite an old one here. Now I have two of these cars. One is blue and only has a slight error on the roof or bonnet or somewhere. And it's this one. It's a police taxi. 
How can you have a taxi police car? That doesn't make any sense. Please explain. I mean, I suppose sort of like if you wanted a taxi but didn't want to pay the charge, you could get arrested. So technically it acts as a taxi but doesn't take you home, takes you to jail. Again, this is an original Hot Wheels car. It's got no name or anything on it. So again, if you can give me the name of this. It's from 1977. Whether it is from 1977, that might just be the production model year. So again, if you could tell me, please do. Ah. Now then. This one I have only seen on eBay recently, and apparently it's quite a rare car, or van. It is the original Simpsons nuclear waste delivery van, driven by Homer Simpson. And again, remember the Captain America one? Well, through that peephole, you can actually see an image. The image is basically um, Homer driving into the nuclear power plant, uh, basically causing havoc as always. Again, apparently there were six of these to collect. Now, on the box one, there was the only other one, which was the Bajara Bug uh, van type thing, which also had a looking glass in the back. This, how much do you reckon? A pound, three quid, fiver? Nope. Ten P. I also got this with a little uh, matchbox, a uh, little micro machines car. Again. And if I look through it, I can see quite clearly, yep, Homer crushing into nuclear waste, Bart taking a photo, and Marge, a picture which he has over on the sun visor, looking disappointed. Again, I absolutely love the yellow alloys. First time I've ever seen them. Again, any information on that would be greatly accepted, because, I don't know, could be sort of like, it's from 1990-91, slash when the Simpsons were really popular, and they were pretty much selling anything. Okay, next up is quite an old one. It's another oldie. I love the older Hot Wheels cars from when I wasn't born. It's a van in red with flames along it. As you can see, it's an American van, but on the back it has a UK license plate. Now UK license plates are white on the front, yellow on the back. USA ones or other country ones will just have sort of like a date of um, something like that. But again, that is definitely a UK registration. Underneath it doesn't say anything, it just says 74 Metal Inc. Malaysia US Pattern Force Parts End. All in there. Wheels are slightly bent, paintwork's a bit worn, but again, that happens with age. Ah. Now we move on to the box sets. Okay, the very first video I did a lot of 07 era cars. Well, I forgot one. I might do all of them later on. Again, here is one that is very nice. It's the 2007 first edition's quad bike. Or as it says, Wastelander. Now again, this is sort of like all complete. The little stand on the bottom there is usually the only thing that goes missing in these sets. Because, again, small part choking hazard gets taken away, gets lobbed, or just gets taken away. Another bike, but this time it's from the Hot Wheels Main Street 11. It's the Boss Hog Motorcycle. Now, again, I love bikes, but I'm more a trike man because I can't ride a bike, so I prefer a trike. Something with three wheels is nicer than something with two wheels and that you can fall off easily. Okay, 2011 Hot Wheels Premier. It's a very nice one. Another concept car as well. It's the 63 Ford Mustang concept car. Mustang 2 concept car. Lovely, gorgeous cherry red. White soft top interior. Absolutely gorgeous car that. I had to have it. Two left. Now remember that van I just showed you? Well, here's the custom 77 Dodge van version of it. It's heat fleets again. Now I absolutely love the red and the flames on there. You can even see inside as well. You can see it quite happily seats six to seven people by the looks of it. Engines all in the back there. Again, a very nice and gorgeous looking car or van. And finally, to end with. Well, you remember the Captain America GMC motorhome? Here is the Heat Fleet 12 one. 
it's GMC motorhome it's in it's got an orange base lovely white on black wheels purple flames on it yellow interior sadly you can't really see on the inside of here but again it does look like it is your standard motorhome so again and that's it the box is empty nothing in it so again thank you for watching Again, those two cars, are, they were supposed to be in the other video. I forgot about them, though. It happens, though. So, thanks for uh, watching. Stay tuned. Uh, next time, it'll either be the black box over there or the Ferrero Rocher boxes. Now, again, the Ferrero Rocher boxes are very useful. The 300 gram ones as well, the square box jobs. They are absolutely brilliant for storing Hot Wheels in. So, until next time, see ya.